Hey guys, welcome back to Piping Engineers. In today's video, we will learn about the glow walls. We will see what are the different types of glow walls, what are their uses in the industry, how glow walls are different from gate walls. So guys, let's begin our today's video. And for more videos and updates, please like, follow and subscribe to our channel Piping Engineers. So let's begin our today's amazing journey of learning of about glow walls. So guys, what is a glow wall? Walls we all know they serve different purposes in the industry. Sometimes they are used for on-off. Sometimes we use them for throttling. Sometimes we used for uh, them for non-return flow. So different applications requires different types of walls. So out uh, to serve th this type of requirements, we have one type of wall that is glow wall. So guys, what is a glow wall? A glow wall is basically a linear motion wall. Linear motion wall means the the motion of the stem of glow wall will be linear means it will go up and down so what is the function of these glow walls guys these glow walls are primarily used to stop and to start and to regulate the flow so these walls are basically used where we need to regulate the flow and we also require the start and stop of flow uh, depending upon the process requirements so guys, the disc of a glow wall can be totally removed from flow path. You can see this is the disc of the valve and this is the flow path. The arrows are showing the flow path. You can see the disc can be removed completely from the flow, flow path, which is ideal for on-off situations. And this disc can also be stopped intermediately, which will be used when we will be uh, requiring the throttling of flow. So, but there is one problem with this glow walls due to this internal geometry you can see the direction of flow is getting changed uh, two to three times so due to this internal geometry there is a mini there is a huge amount of pressure drop across the wall so this is one of the drawbacks to these glow walls so let's see what are the different types of glow walls so guys basically the types of glow walls that are used in industry there are three types one is your z type or t type pattern glow valve next is your y type and third is your angle types i have i have arranged some pictures here so that you can easily visualize and see what does different type of glow walls look alike so first one is your t type or t pattern glow wall so this is the most common design you know uh, that is uh, with a Z shaped diagram. Diagram. So why why Z shaped? You can see the flow. It is it is going like this and it is like this. So it is it is it is making a Z Z a Z type uh, when it is moving uh, from one end of the wall to the another end. The horizontal setting of the seat allows the stem and disc to travel perpendicular to horizontal line. You can see this is the stem of the wall and here it is the disc. So when this hand wheel of the valve is rotated, the stem will move up and down and this disc will also move up and down along with this stem. So this design has the lower coefficient of flow and higher pressure drop. As told earlier, there will be a three directional change in flow or you can say four directional change in flow and the flow will flow uh, like a Z is uh, made uh, alphabet of English is like so uh, there will be pressure drop because the flow will have to change direction three to four times inside the wall so what are the purposes of this wall these walls are used where severe throttling services are used such as in bypass lines around the control wall t pattern glow walls may also be used in applications where pressure drop is not a concern if a system where we don't have the uh, issue of pressure drop inside the valve where we can use this type of glow walls or where severe type of throttling is required these glow walls find a uh, their application so next is your y type pattern so as the name suggests this type of walls looks like y so you can see this is this looks like a y so this body of wall looks like a y so these are an alternate for high pressure drop uh, uh, of against the z type scale glow wall so you can see uh, in this uh, there is no three to four directional change so there will be just minimal change of for direction of the flow so the pressure drops will be less as compared to your z type glow walls the seat and uh, and the stem are angled at approximately 45 degree you can see this is the stem and inside it there is the seat so they are around 45 degree they are around at an angle of 45 degree in this type of wall and uh, so the flow path will be a bit straighter and hence full opening uh, will uh, 
have a lesser resistance means lesser pressure drops will be there they can be cracked open for long periods without severe erosion so due to their uh, ease of geometry uh, there will be lesser chances of erosion in this type of blow walls so they are also used we are uh, extensively used for throttling during seasonal or startup operations so after shut off shut down of the plant or during seasonal startups um if they are if some type of activities are being followed in a plant so generally you will see these uh, white type of glow walls there moving on to next uh, angle pattern glow walls as the name suggests the valve opening and uh, inlet and outlet are at angle so you can see if the if it if the flow is uh, getting inside from this part it is it is going in outside from this way so it is ultimately following an angle of 90 degree here so again uh, you can see the different types of glow wall and you can tell about uh, how these glow walls look like or what type of glow wall is so this is basically a design modification of your t pattern glow wall in t pattern uh, uh, you i told you it was a z or t type was formed so this is a modification of that wall so end of glow wall are at 90 degree which i told you uh, one is inlet and out outlet is at 90 degree they have slightly lower coefficient of flow then y pattern so these uh, glow walls have the least uh, you can say uh, your pressure drop so these are used they are also extensively used in industry so they are uh, used in applications having high periods of pulsating flow because of their capability to handle the handle handle the slugging effect of this type of flow so if the pulse if the flow is uh, having pulsating effects so we generally prefer this type of walls so these were the three types of walls i hope uh, you would have uh, um, got some knowledge from this so if we talk about advantages and disadvantages as i already told you uh, advantages is uh, we can get, get a good shut off capability because there you can be used as one of walls they have moderate to good throttling capability they can be used in throttling cap capacities they have shorter stroke means your stem movement is will be lesser as compared to gate wall so guys uh, we have a video uh, of gate walls versus glow walls i will provide the link here in the description you just uh, watch that video so that you can come to know what is the differences between gate walls and glow walls and available in uh, t y and angle patterns each offering unique capability so these three types of uh, um, glow walls they have their own unique features and depending upon your requirement you can use any of them and easy to machine or resurface this seat so if there are erosion uh, your uh, surface can be uh, easily machined so there are again some disadvantages the first and foremost and the biggest disadvantage is with the pressure drop due to their internal geometry uh, there is a higher pressure drop again as compared to gate wall you can refer the video which i'll be uh, giving you in this i link here requires greater force or larger actuator to seat the wall sometimes uh, larger force is required so when the valve is already under uh, throttling system uh, it is heavier than other walls of the same pressure rating because of internal geometry again these walls are a bit heavier and costlier compared to gate walls so their cost is also as you know if the wall is heavier and if the geometry is complicated its cost will go in any case so uh, these were the walls about which uh, we can we told about you so guys i to hope you would have learned uh, the basics of glow walls what are their types and advantages and disadvantages so thank you for watching the video and for more videos and updates please like follow and subscribe to our channel so let's catch up in our next video on a topic thank you bye bye